What's up guys, back with the sport wagon again. This is the kind of stuff that gives me trust issues right here. So of course in the last video I got most of the stuff fixed with this car. We've been driving it around, we've been using it as a daily driver, everything's been good. Of course like a week or two ago the entire cluster lit up like a Christmas tree with all of these lights here. So like I just showed you, it's got um, I've got an ABS light, an airbag light, traction control light, tire pressure monitoring system light, and that's driving me crazy. So time to dig in and see what's wrong here. So in doing a little bit of internet searching, it seems like a common problem that can cause all of these lights is a faulty wheel speed sensor for for the ABS, I guess. And now that I've had a chance to scan the car, the errors that I'm getting are mostly from the right rear ABS speed sensor. So that's what I'm gonna check first. I'm gonna pop the wheel off, pull that sensor out, and take a look at it to see if it is covered in road grime. So the wheel sensor, or so the speed sensor is here on the back of the brake assembly, the hub assembly, right? Right here. Just need to take a five millimeter Allen head and take that out. Well, yep, sure enough, it's covered in crud. Try cleaning that off. Get some brake cleaner too. So on top of cleaning the sensor, I'm going to go ahead and clean out the uh, the seat for where it sits inside here too. So all kinds of crud coming out of there. Now I just need to put it back. All right, back in there nice and tight. Plug it back in. Now I just need to put the wheel back on, clear the codes, and see if it comes back. see okay well unsurprisingly the lights are still on because I have not cleared out the uh, trouble code yet so I'll run in grab the computer come back and uh, clear out those codes So still got a bunch of air codes in there. Run the uh, full scan. All 
All right, that's complete. So yep, right here. Still, it was still showing faults with the right rear ABS wheel speed sensor, which is what we took out and cleaned. So go ahead and clear all the DTC. Actually, before I do that, let's save it. All right, now that I saved those, now let's clear all the codes. Goodbye. DTCs have been erased. Let's close out of this. looking a little better there all right now let's go for a little drive and see what happens oh boy looks like it worked so far so good all of the lights are off probably shouldn't say that out loud but they're still off okay so I spoke too soon of course, right after I got home from that little test drive, everything was still fine with uh, the sensor. I got back in the car to go somewhere a little later on and all of the lights came back on. So here we are, it is, I don't know, like a week or so later, I went ahead and just ordered a new sensor. So I'm gonna go throw that on and hopefully this time the new sensor will take care of all of those stupid idiot lights on the dashboard. Okay, this time I'm going to see if I can get this swapped out without taking the wheel off and jacking the car up. Okay, well I could probably swap that out without taking the wheel off, but I was having trouble, so I'm going to pop the wheel off again. Old sensor out, new sensor. All right, new sensor's in. The wiring is reinstalled. All right, let's try this again. I have not cleared the codes this time. Just gonna start the car and see what happens. Try going for a short little drive again here and see if it resets. If not, I'll come back and clear them out with the computer and then try again. Well, they went off. All of them. This is what happened last time after I cleaned the sensor, but now we've got a brand new sensor in there. Hopefully they'll stay off. I guess this is also a good opportunity to talk about something else that was acting up. I believe as part of the uh, wheel speed sensor that we just changed out, the transmission was occasionally doing weird stuff. Um, at one point we had the little service icon instead of the gear indicator light on the dashboard. Um, turned the car off, turned it back on and that had gone away. And then more recently it's been basically hunting for gears um, be driving along and out of nowhere it will just downshift into a lower gear and won't automatically shift back um, the solution I've been using for that while on the move has been to just kick it over into manual shift mode and then shift back up um, and that so far has seemed to take care of the issue um, and then put it back in automatic and then it, it works fine again so Hopefully that issue is now also resolved from changing out this sensor. But it's going to take uh, probably a few more days of driving just to be sure of that. So anyway, so far so good. All right, so to wrap this all up, it's now a couple of days later. I wanted to give it time just to make sure the lights didn't come back on. And guess what? Not a single light on the dashboard there. I also went ahead and replaced the two LED bulbs that I had put in for the license plate lights with regular incandescent 194 bulbs. So after replacing the license plate lights, 
all of the lights on the dashboard are out now. If you're having this problem with all of the ABS, track control, and airbag lights coming on, or if you're having problems with your DSG transmission, where it's downshifting randomly or just acting up, check that ABS wheel speed sensor. The sensor could be dirty. You might be able to get away with just cleaning it off, or like in my case, you might have to go ahead and just replace the sensor, but it's really not too bad of a job and it's not a very expensive part. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching till the end. Like this video if you did, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, Comment down below if you've got something to add, and I will see you next time.